So for those of us in the north, the really important economic challenge that we face after Brexit is the fact that a lot of our economies are based around manufacturing. So even if you're part of the service sector um, in the north of England, especially Merseyside, where I'm from, um, or Yorkshire, where we are today, there's still a manufacturing base and the services rely on that manufacturing base. And if we Brexit in a way that is bad for integrated supply chains, then that will undermine the business case for that manufacturing industry. So when, for example, um, a car plant in my part of the world is going for the next model, um, you know, Brexit might increase the cost base quite radically and that will be bad for jobs and bad for investment in the north of England. Well, the fact is, when it comes to urban policy, I don't really think we've had a particularly good urban policy over the past 10 years. So where things like the EU Cohesion Fund was there to um, improve that integration between people uh, in cities and urban areas, we're going to have to take that job on ourselves. And I would argue that actually some of the issues of people feeling not included in economic growth have actually been around for a long time and it's not actually a problem to do with the EU, it's that the UK government over the past decade really hasn't had a good policy of urban integration that makes, makes everybody feel that when a city grows their chances of economic success is moving ahead with it and that's where our attentions have got to be now over the next decade to come. Well look, in the end people feel like they're able to move ahead and their city or their town is able to move ahead if it's got economic prospects. So you've got to have powerful, devolved governments like London has in the north of England. And that means maybe taking the transport for the north infrastructure and really bolstering that with significant powers to deliver infrastructure. That means towns and cities being able to have a sense of plan for their future economy and most crucially having the powers to deliver it. So whether that means taking things like education powers away from Whitehall and devolving them to towns and cities in the north. We've got to have real and practical powers for economic development. Well, I've already learned a great deal from the work that, um, that uh, has been done um, that we're talking about today. I feel like the discussion we have about Brexit um, in Westminster and Whitehall has been pretty political and not very much about the economics of the situation. So I think it's incredibly important that the Institute and others keep going with their research and in the end that filters through and we'll have better economic policy for it.